After a Reddit user noted that there appears to be no bad press about former senior minister Thaman Shamugaram, who is running for president, he wrote that he was willing to hear personal experiences of those who have met slash known Mr. Thaman and whether he's really so unproblematic. You slash cream basic 4735 wrote on a slash a Singapore thread on Sunday, August 27th, that he found it strange that there is literally no bad press about Taman, even though he's been in the public eye for many decades. Is Taman really so clean that the only criticisms about him are that his establishment endorsed and the 1992 economic growth saga, which he still vehemently rejects, he added. There have since been over 230 comments on the post, and those who have met the popular and well-respected Mr. Thaman have said many positive things about him. One was surprised that he visited the wake of his mother. He paid respect to my late mother, even though we may not have the same religion. He is really a man of his words. His actions has really touched my heart until today, I still remember his kindness for that day. A Reddit user wrote that he had the opportunity to meet him in a small meeting and called him a very courteous and soft-spoken gentleman. Felt like he really cared about the people on the ground. Commented another. A commenter who used to volunteer for Mr. Thaman's MPSs wrote, he is smart, respectful, but not a pushover, see his debates in parliament and with foreign correspondents. He is sharp, speaks sense, and whenever he disagrees with something he will make his point clear and explain why his position is so. He does not argue, he does not lose his temper. He has sound principles and stands by them. In person, he makes you feel at ease. He listens. He engages with both old and young of all races. On the street he is quiet and unassuming. He stays until 2 a.m. every Monday during MPS. He replies emails personally. He insists on clearing up after himself. Taman was one of the rare ones who bothered to actually ask me in person what I was doing for studies and what my future plans were. He then gave me advice on where to go to look for the opportunities one was interested in. No MP ever bothered to ask me personally, what I was doing, chimed in another. It seems that Mr. Thaman's appeal crosses party lines.